Hey everybody, welcome to the NSFW Show. We're joined by Casey McKinnon. The haunted broadsword returns to slice your throat with comedy. Yes, let's sing is an app and we'll sing into it and then have to guess what the songs are. It's part of the game. Don't worry, it's explained. Also, the awful Marvel Avengers tourney happens. We crown an awful Avenger. What does that even mean? Stop being so impatient. You'll find out in a few seconds on the NSFW Show. I want to lick your face off. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This This is Twit. Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This is NSFW, episode 128, recorded live on May 22nd, 2012. The Vancouver, hello. Guess who? Mom? Guess again. Diablo, what are you doing here? I thought they locked you away. They just released me after 11 long years. I could have sworn it was 13. Did you miss me? What? Come on. Do you want to play with me like old times? You never finished me. I, I don't know. You know. I've wasted a lot of time with you, and I have a girlfriend. A, a real girlfriend. Come on. I'm better than you could ever imagine. I'm even more fun than I used to be. Um, no, seriously, I, I, gotta, I gotta do homework. I gotta walk the car. You used to know just how to work me. Play me like you did before. Okay, maybe just for a minute. Close your eyes. Diablo, you don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. I have wanted to roleplay with you for a long time. Wait, what? <laughs> Nerd! See, to me, the payoff... Hold on, let's get this started. Let's get this started. This is it. It is go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind. The new sauce for the Webernets, the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood. Joined, as always, by one man who's part Ferrix, Justin Robert Feral Dog Young. What's going on, J-R-F-R-D-Y? Jafferty? 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 Justin Jafferty. Yeah, Jeff, Justin FDR Young. Everyone knows that's what you were called as a kid. You still on that? Fartin' Dog Roosevelt, they used to call you. FDR. <laughs> Fartin' Dog Roosevelt here. <laughs> Joining you with yet another audio adventure, folks, on NSFW Show. Welcome to this program. Uh, we are going to have an old friend join us. In fact, I think she's here right now. Oh, good lord, what's that knock at the door? Let's open it and find Casey McKinnon, the haunted broadsword. What? Dude, thank you so much for joining us, Casey. You have no idea how the entire internet exploded with joygasms. I believe those are called orgasms. I do. My Twitter blew up. That's awesome. It physically exploded. You had you got a visit from Homeland Security after your... She had to get skin grafts because of the burns (laughs) she got from Twitter blowing up in her face. That's how I feel most of the time. Hey, man, uh, so on that opening video, that's from my effing hate that. Uh, but to me, the the joke is not the error. Well, I, I suppose the intended joke is that error 37, which, of course, is not a big deal now that the servers are running. But I just love the idea that she just turns and calls him a nerd and kicks him in the crotch. Nerd <laughs> and the kick to the crotch always goes well. well. All right. Hold on. Can I parse that video just for a second? Mm. So, like, is the point down. before that that she's going to, like wet his whistle in public (laughs) that's certainly what they seem to be intimating they are sitting on like a public dock (laughs) and he's undressing so like they're on like they're on like a bay look you just pause right there you can see like families walking behind them and like (laughs) like, he's like oh diablo like you're really crazy and you're really hot like i would really like to engage in some sexual congress with you. But the key is, you see, they got the Canadian flag there, which lets you know it's in the promiscuous north is where it is. So uh, hold on. All right. Well, uh, McKinnon, you're Canadian, right? Yes, indeed. 
So speak on behalf of all Canadians. Like, is that a thing? Is that like like the Vancouver hello? Like, that's 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 <laughs> on one of the. On behalf of all of Canada. In fact, you know, people, my friends in Scotland call me the Princess of Canada. Sure. No well, that's fine. That's a that's yeah, we'll, a totally we can, different we can move. Recognize that. I'm gonna guess that this was filmed up in Vancouver, and uh, Vancouver actually has a nude beach. So I'm just saying. They have a beach in Vancouver? Yeah. yeah, they have a nude beach. Who would Dude. want to get naked in that much cold? What do they call though? it? Shrinkage Not me, Isle? Because every time I go up, I wear like like every sweater I own. So I don't know. <laughs> I guess every, when you get every that sweater you high, own, going to a nude beach walking. in Vancouver seems like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I actually take photos of myself when I'm going to bed because I think it's so hilarious that I'm wearing like like sweatpants and like socks pulled up and like a, a sweater over top something else to bed. Now I might as well like be wearing a scarf and a woolen hat too. It was the same when I lived in Norway. It was like uh, the beaches where there was always chicks running topless on the beaches, and I was just like, "How do you even get undressed at the beaches? How do you even get in swimsuit in the beaches? It's freaking Norway. It's cold as." As like I why won the why would you do that? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. It's actually not that cold up there right now, but uh, okay. I so for wanna... two weeks it'll be fine. For two <laughs> weeks it'll be like, man, hey, it's great. Let's all go out and film videos where blonde chicks pretend to, you know, gargle our <laughs> tackle. I'm, and I'm then sorry. Wait, the nuts. wait, where were you just headed with this? What what was just happening? <laughs> yeah, I, I settled on gargle. <laughs> Tackle, and I don't know whether or not that is inappropriate. Sure, you don't want to accidentally win the belt. Hey, man, what are we doing today? Oh, crap. Oh, we have to do things? Well, hey, well, let me just make up some stuff on, on the top of my head. All right. Uh, Casey, did you see that uh, small independent film, The Transformers? Unfortunately, yes. Okay. Well, forget about that movie, because I meant to say The Avengers. <laughs> 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 yes, opening night, 1201. Oh, okay. Well, here, uh, the thing is, that movie did a great job of taking all these really popular characters and putting them in a movie that we all wanted to see. What we want to do here today is figure out, you know, maybe they have another Avengers coming out, and, and it's not just Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, and Thor that's been in the comics. Boring. Come on, give us something new. Exactly. So what we did is took some of the lesser known characters and we're going to put them through a little tournament with the help of you, Casey, and Chat Realm helped do all the research for this. It's the awful Avengers uh, Marvel. Oh, well, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, did wow. you, you worked hey, on this. This is good. The, the Chat Realm is mentioning transgenders and I don't know if it's because they just made up that word or it's because they know my show Galacticast when we actually did a parody of Transformers and we called it Transgenders. Oh my god, I bet they totally ripped you off and are stealing all the credit. I give you permission to punch Chat Realm in the face, nuts. They can <sighs> gargle their own tackle. Uh, <laughs> it's the awful Marvel Avengers tourney, folks. And you know that it's serious because I wrote it on a envelope. <laughs> what? Because, yes, folks, these heroes deserve the finest envelope and marker treatment. And we're going to do it right here on the show. Also, Brian, I forgot what else we're doing because I'm sleep deprived. Oh, that's right. We should tell everyone that you went and saw history in the making. Take a moment. I, did. I know what the other thing is we're doing, but, but you you tell the story of what happened last night because we, we like had a, a space bo broadcast while you were in a capsule at a high velocity headed to watch history be made in time. Sure. So last night uh, we recorded a live episode of uh, the Weird Things podcast that was taking place while me and Andrew drove up to Cape Canaveral, and uh, there we stopped and watched SpaceX launch the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon capsule into orbit where it will this Friday rendezvous. It'll give the old Vancouver hello to the <laughs> International <laughs> Space Station. So now uh, you were there, like, was it loud? What was it like viscerally from a... You know, uh, it was maybe the state. most amazing thing I've ever seen. Not only because it was just, it was like a very cool thing to do. It's about a three hour drive from Fort Lauderdale to Canaveral. Uh, but the the sound was amazing. I'm sure we'll talk about it a lot on, on the weird things. And I, I don't want to get all super. Get all, no, this is it. I'm trying but, to lure you into getting all misty eyed. And then I'll be like, your pants are down. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, this is you. You're like the blonde chick. And I'm just sitting out on a Vancouver dock. 
waiting. You know, then you're just screaming nerd you're like, and kick me you're like, nuts. Oh, Falcon 9. It's been so long. So yeah, no, check it out. We have the video. Yeah, the video of me uh, at, watching it uh, is up on on weirdthings.com. Me and Andrew are are doing it, and people have already taken to uh, my reaction that the Falcon Nine is going to goddamn space, which is something that I said <laughs> as uh, as a, a a real a calling card for for independent space travel. <laughs> that's a, that's if you can get up on a bumper sticker now. Dave, we're going to goddamn space, folks. Yes. All right. So the other thing we're going to do is uh, a buddy of mine back in the day, Lex Friedman. He used to do uh, the the This Week in Cracked. He did the news, the video news for Cracked.com. He did This Week in Douchebaggery. And uh, now he writes for Macworld. I see him all the time on the Google Plus uh, or on the the Google News front page because he's always writing these articles. They're so GD popular. But uh, in this case, he put together this little gem with a buddy of his called Let's Sing. Now, stop me if you've heard this before, Justin. Go. Turns out that there's a challenge. Go. Being able to. Go. (laughs) Begin talking. You want to know what? When you're tired, you just go to the old hits that we're cannibalizing because this is on Night Attack 2. (laughs) They haven't heard it yet. It's like it's a callback to something they haven't even bought yet. Uh, but, oh. uh, <laughs> All right. Are you still on this, Brian? I, I Go ahead. I hate you so much. The point is, he made a little thing called Let's Sing, which it's like essentially he took your – he stole your bit, Justin. He stole Boodle Deedle Doing a song and having other people recognize it and you're able Why to play. Why haven't I been – approached as a celebrity endorser probably because nobody gives a good goddamn about your boodles <laughs> is that any way god you know casey you gotta help me out here you know and maybe or, you want to know what i don't even know if i like this product we gotta play it a little bit all right so here's what we're gonna do we all installed it and i think we're all friends on here now normally i don't know how we could should we sing it like live for each other and have them solve it or do we want to do it? Because what you do is you record and you shoot it over. Do we want to have two people sort of just have a pleasant conversation while the third one gets ready? Or do we want to go in the round? Or what, what do we want to do? Um, I would say, Brian, what we should do is uh, let's do it live. Let's do it. Let's Bill O'Reilly. it. Let's do it live. All right. Done and done. So I've got uh, right now I'm playing a game with Casey McKinnon. I have a one streak. And Justin, I have a six streak with. But uh, but neither both of them have to record a song. So who wants to go first? Uh, I'll I'll record a song. Actually, no, Casey, you you record a song for Brian. Let's start it off like that. Ladies first. Yeah. All right. Now don't tell us what it is. But go ahead and let us uh, go ahead and hit it and record it. And when it sends over here, I'll go ahead and. Can I steal? Or do yeah. I do? Uh, what do I do? You you sit there and do a dance to whatever her song is. <laughs> How about I just? Oh, can can we make m- music video eyes like intense? Whatever the. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. That'll work really well for the audio listeners. All right, are you ready? Casey? Uh, yeah, well, I'm on this screen here, so... Oh, wait, like, you got to solve mine. Guess. I got to guess first. Okay, wait, wait, man. So I've got I've got your song, Schwood. All right, well, go ahead and play it. Keep, here, hold up to the mic. Let's hear All it. All right. Let's... All right, you're in trouble because I only know the chorus. <laughs> Ah, I got it. Something, something, six years ago the song was relevant. (laughs) You're still going. (laughs) I know, I I use up all my time. Wow, you really like... There's no alteration to the beat. You you just keep making the same noise like you're some sort of (laughs) wounded ibis. That's uh, that's pretty much what I'm going. We'll see if she got it right. She's. Uh-oh. Um, I'm trying to type it. Okay. You will be loved, right? Mm-hmm. Well, st- uh, apparently it doesn't like the you, so maybe it's a different word. Uh, she <laughs> will be loved. I'm just so proud that everybody got it. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. There it is. Okay. Boom. All right. So now you got to record one. For, in fact, right Continue. now, Justin, you do yours in secret, and I'll play it over here. You you go ahead and mute, and then th- and then I'll watch Casey do hers live. I'm ready. Okay. You don't, you right. don't want to see me sing right live? Now. No, I oh, do. That, that I would do. be cheating. No, no, no right. I do. I I'm having Justin do his on mute right now while we watch you sing yours live. But don't don't tell us which one it is. Go ahead and just rock it for us, okay? Okay. Uh. <laughs> 
Soy una perdedor. Oh no, you can't say you can't use I'm the words. Bit, what? You can't use the words. That's the point. You got you oh, can... Un perdedor. Yeah. I'm a who he he he. Oh my name my name. That's that scene now. That's good. That is that is good. Uh, see, it's perfect. You, you you killed it. And now, any second now, I'm going to get yours that you send over. I'll go ahead and plug this in so we can there hear the, the rad-ass sound effects. Uh, yeah. uh, Justin, did you record one as well? <laughs> All right. Did, did, did I see you laughing in the middle of, of Casey's recording session? <laughs> I, I had to mute the sound because okay. I, I couldn't have hers come over mine. So I was... Oh, no, any laughter. I, I save all laughter for my own jokes, Brian, because I'm that self-centered. Yeah. All right. Well, here, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just let's, let me hit play. Soy una perdedor. I'm a loser, bit. What? You can't hit. Boy, I'm a perdedor. <laughs> I'm a who he he he. Oh, my name, my name. <laughs> I think I actually just lost the connection right now. I'm going to mark it right now at 1522 for the reboot. Yeah, sucker. Yeah, my plan is working, says Time Warner. Uh, I am now convinced that it has to be on this end. It has to be the um, multiple instances of Skype contributing to it because it's only when, because I never go out during frame rate. I never go out on, uh, I have gone out on the laptop, which made me think it was Time Warner, but the fact that, that now I've replaced the router and this happened, uh, I'm almost certain it's when I'm running multiple versions of Skype simultaneously. <clears throat> so it's, uh, uh, 15, I believe you. 1522 is when, is when it happened right there, but I'm calling Casey McKenna right now. But meanwhile, while I get Casey back on the line, I'm going to type in L O S E R. <laughs> That's the sound of victory, success, my friend. All right. Cool. On. I'm trying to call Casey. Call dropped. There, question mark. Burger, burger. Burger, 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 burger. Are you guys... <laughs> Mega Vortex, very classy of you. I leave... I look away from the... Uh, from... <laughs> From the chat for two seconds, that's what we get. Casey. I'm back. I'm sorry. That, no, it was my fault. Totally my <gasps> fault. It was my Jerk. fault personally. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Uh, 15, 22. Uh, All right. <clears throat> are we going to declare war on Time Warner for the 18th consecutive episode? No, we're not. We're just going to keep on rocking, sir. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so now I got to, uh, well, all right. So here, now I'm going to now I'm gonna open up just Robert Young's. Here we go. Justin Robert Young guessed Because I Got High by Afro Man correctly, wishing you, winning you both 60 coins. That was a tough one, yeah, too. That was, it was, was a good one. It was impressive. All right, here we go. Uh, this song by Justin Robert Young. All right. <laughs> Is that it? What? All right. All right, I'm going to go with... Can I get a hint? I sang the goddamn song! <laughs> I'm going to reveal the artist for 600 coins. It's Eric can I, Clapton. Can I do... All right, th this stupid app screwed up. <laughs> I'm going to sing the goddamn song. All right, I'm just going to guess it's Layla without having heard it. But no, you... <laughs> Am I right? Maybe you should just sing it Are live. Are you actually just trying to coin farm here, Brian? Or are we doing a stupid bid? 
<laughs> I was just guessing. All right. <clears throat> you sing one, monkey boy. There you go. I got it. That's the sound of my success happening. All right, here. I'm going to do... Uh, oh, man. Screw this app. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is an easy one. This one's only 10 points, but I'll just do it right away. I'll go. That sounded like you said the N word at the end. <laughs> I, I will not confirm nor deny this, but I am going to send it to you to see if you can get it right. I'm uh, it now. The wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Let me see if that fits into the letters. I have, excuse me, I have another one to sing for uh, Casey McKinnon. Here we go, right here. Yes. <laughs> Don't say the words, you're going to mess it up. <laughs> there, what? and now I'm going to send that to you. It's my game. I can sing as long <laughs> as I want to. your game. I can't, I can't. You're touche, my lady. There, I got one to both y'all. Neither of you will ever guess those because they're too good. I should actually play. I've been playing all day with random people. Let me see if I can. Here, there's one. Here's one from. Oh, no. Oh, these are all time to sing. I should have saved the guesses. Here, let me play some of the random time to guesses from people that I got. These are people in chat realm who have been playing with me all day. Um, uh, all right. Do you not want to play our game? No, anymore? I do. Oh, I know this. Do you know it, Justin? Oh, yeah, it's uh, the stupid song with the people. <laughs> In my life, yeah. There we go. Boom. All right, here, you got another one? You ready You ready to rock? Uh, Me? Yeah. Either of you. Whoever's ready to rock is the one who's going to go. And rock you must, my friends. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm going right. to sing this song right here. Uh, this one, uh, you want to know what? I'm, I actually don't want to play with Brian. I'm going to play with Casey. That's what I was saying. You should, you should not be. Right, here's what Casey's it. saying to me. I haven't listened to this uh, until right now. We're going to play uh, what, what Casey sang earlier today. Oh, but I sang with the lyrics again. <laughs> I think. I don't remember Let's what song see. it was. But that'll make it easy to solve then. <laughs> I didn't know the rules, man. Me. <laughs> you know the the funniest part about it is that not only did you sing the lyrics but you sang the name of the song <laughs> dude some of these i've gotten from people they're all like uh they're like that's the way i like it like what was one it was an entry from somebody in sweden all right here we go that was of course rockwell's uh that was Blackwater by the Doobie Brothers. Coming up. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to sing together. one here to, uh, to Casey. Serenade me, baby. All right. Here we go. And hopefully this won't, won't just get me saying okay and then sending it <laughs> like it's a song. <laughs> here we go. Boodle da boodle do. A boodle de doo, ba doodle 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 do 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 boodle, bo 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 ba ba, boodle do 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 boodle de do do do, boodle do. Oh wait, no, okay, I only got it at the very end. Wow, that was close. All right, I'm sending that one to Casey. Casey, yeah. do you have any idea? Uh, we're getting springtime for Hitler. <laughs> Do you have any I, idea? I, no. I, that, that, and someone said brown-eyed girl. That's not brown-eyed girl. If it was, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would, it would stand to reason that somebody got brown-eyed girl in the chat room. 
Sarah, I'm ready for to give Schwood one. All right, go for it. I'm ready to All accept right. it. Hold on. Unlock. <laughs> I I would have loved to have seen Justin. A what I love is uh, who let the dogs out? <laughs> I said, who let, I think it was the Baja men. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> yes, we got a winner. <laughs> oh my gosh. The uh uh it's tough to get over that hump of just like sound like a an idiot for me personally. Oh like Oh, Casey McKinnon passed Sorry, on Brick you, House. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know the, the name of the song. You just knew all the lyrics to sing along. Oh my god, you're killing me. It's a bear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Wait, you actually just knew it as, like, it just sounds like tribal yeah. noises? Like, you didn't know what words went along with it? Uh, no. I, I, You know what? Rudy's actually told me in the past that I should put out an album called Casey Sings the Boobity Blues. <laughs> because you don't know the words. Because I don't know all the lyrics, but I, I know the boobity blues, man. Maybe you should have known the goddamn boobity blues for Brown Eyed Girl instead of... <laughs> That's the goddamn internet. Oh, you also, don't need to be also. Able to... My brother and I want to put out a duet album where we both whistle. <laughs> There's a that, that's that the other is the most thing. Canadian thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> we I don't think I've ever heard. You could be like, I want to run for Prime Minister of Canada, and that would be less <laughs> Canadian than you saying, I want to put out a duet album with my brother where we whistle. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be on Canada's Got Talent whistling. All right, sure. there we go. I gotta send this over to. I gotta. I gotta rock this over to Casey. Here we go. You know what Canadian city you should say you're from? Uh, n- uh no. Calgary. Why? <laughs> wow, what is set up for nothing? I thought. I mean, is not there a good city called Whistler? I don't. Not. Not one that that is obvious to me. Or is that Mount Whistler? There's a whist- There's some whistling element. I think you're thinking of a prostitute at a truck stop Olympics. across the border. They call her Whistler. Who's a whist? Your mom's a Whistler. Whoa. 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 <laughs> wow. The thing is, my mom is a Whistler. <laughs> Whistler, British Columbia. Okay. Whistler, BC. Got it. God damn it. All I'm doing is driving home runs and nobody <laughs> notices. <laughs> Great brown eyed girl slapped right oh, in the come face. On. Are you, are you still on that, Justin? Terrible. Are you still on that? And then just pooped. I just poop so on my I face. I think you were serious when you said that. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Yeah, come on. So are you still on that, Justin? Come on, man. <laughs> do you mind? All right, here we go. I got to do. <clears throat> uh, oh, crap. That was a good one. That was that was one of my finer moments. I'm sending that right See, now at before least I screw you can it up. sing. No, I can't. Uh, I got two yeah. notes. Was it uh, the day the lights went down in Georgia? It was the devil went down to Georgia. So close, so close. Was it Georgia on my mind? No, it was it was Georgia peaches. Heron. <laughs> Her- herring. Herring? Heroin? Heroin? Hairline? <laughs> Heron. Oh, here we go. This is one that Lex. So there we go. A uh, Bonnie Tyler, right? Total eclipse of the heart. Yeah. Are you picking? Can we only pick the hardest ones? I did on pick out? the Let's hardest stop. one. I do. I want to sing one to you, Brian. All right. Hardest one. Pick the hardest one. From now on, you and me, hardest ones. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. men. <laughs> like, let's be dudes. You don't even two, know a song. Let's do two bros, man. Let's get hard. Let's there you and me, let's rub right. each other's so shoulders. Yeah. This one, it's the hardest. This is the 60 coin thing to for, for me to Brian. Here we go. Boo! 
deedle do do but a do 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 boot do deedle do do boodle do 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 tell her about it but a do 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 but you know for there was something yes that's it people are saying it's the mentos song which do 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 there we go. Yeah. That's got to be tell her about it. Mm. Hold on. Yeah. Woo. God, I'm so excited about this game. I brought a <laughs> robot penguin. What do you have to say? <laughs> Not all like right. your usefulness. <clears throat> Look, all right. Here's the new game. The new game is we do the rest of the show, but we continue to play, but <laughs> secretly. Like just you, you got it. You got it. You got to toss to someone else. Hit mute and record your song, and then, and then go back. And then you win if nobody picks up that you're still playing the game. So what do you think, Justin? <laughs> no, if nobody notices we're still playing the game, the audience wins. <laughs> uh, well, hey man, look, what... but let's start. Let's start playing the the uh, the Avengers Holy, game. Wait, hold on. I just realized what? something. Do we have? Uh, what? Wait, oh, How you... can we move on from this? We have game ads to tonight. That? Yeah? Question mark? Burke, do we have ads? Fine. Wait, no, wait. No I didn't get any ads. Oh, we're ad free. That you means free. that means Casey has time to do her song. Well, that's terrifying for the prospects of the show. <laughs> no way. Once they hear this song, they'll be flocking. Go. I'm in my home now. I'm in my home now. Bow, bow, dig, bow, bow, da, boo, dig, bow, bow. <laughs> that's awesome what i love oh my god i wish you guys the audio listeners i wish you could see the passion with which she boodle deedles all right whoa look, good god what what just what? happened i just yeah. got a song hold on everybody let's oh. listen to it let's hear it i'm in my home <laughs> now i'm moving to home Casey was feeling it too, just listening to herself. She's like, mm, then that, oh, gee. Mm. Um, put them on the glass. <laughs> <laughs> By Sir Mix. Well played, sir. Well played, sir. <laughs> Obvi. All right, look, let's, uh, let's, what are we calling this? Second rate Avengers, the tourney? Uh, where are you going to call, listen, this next segment, which is sponsored by uh, viewers like you, is called the Awful Marvel Avengers Tourney. I was sent by the official Tourney Commission this, uh, this envelope. They misspelled there was Tourney. nothing in the envelope. They just apparently wrote on it they, they with misspelled no tourney. forwarding address. They definitely misspelled uh, Tourney. But you want to know what? I'm going to be kind of the master of ceremonies here, but I'll, I'll help you guys decide things. I'll be a tiebreaker. Uh, what we're going to do is we had a chat room go out today and find some of the lesser known Avengers. All right. Yep. And uh, we're going to we're going to put now them these, through their paces. These but are they're all gonna be real. randomly selected, and the challenges that you will have to walk them through will also be randomly assigned. Okay. So now this is these are real Avengers, right? When we say second rate Avengers, like like are, are are any of these heroes that I've heard of, or we just get to find out what their powers are? Uh, no, I will explain to you what their powers are. Uh, these are these are really these all these characters actually appeared in uh, the the various comics of the Avengers. Although uh, Chat Realm did never one to be out creative did give us a, a list of Avengers that they just made up and would maybe like to see. Yeah. Can, can, can we hear some of those in that list? For Including instance? show four woman. Show four woman? What show you... chauffeur woman, sorry. Chauffeur woman. Okay, although yeah. I, I like show four woman. Like, she's got two sets, and she wants to show them to everyone. Oh. Uh, there's Spanx girl. <laughs> Uh, she's chubby, and she hangs out with <laughs> spandex man and spandex woman. <laughs> okay, that's good. What else? Uh, there's tax man, friend to the rich, scourge to the poor. <laughs> Pretty uh, good. There's pink face and his manservant, Ninjon. <laughs> <laughs> I, whoever that guy sounds rad. <laughs> 
Uh, and then, of course, there's uh, Realistic Ionizing Radiation Man, in which radiation poisoning is no laughing matter, and neither is cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, ultimate tournament winning man who never wins the tournament. Uh, but but here we go. So uh, I'm going to ask for uh, uh, Casey. I need you to name a number uh, between one and twelve. Six. Six means that entering into the arena is three D man. <laughs> this is a real oh, guy. This yeah. is not one of chat realms made up guys. This is now one of Chat Realm's made up guys. And this is officially from the Marvel uh, website. I will be reading uh, 3D Man's. <laughs> and it's not like D D D D Man. Are we sure that he no, is it is 3 D to Sony? Yeah, is he belonged to Sony? Because, you know, that's the, the X Men belonged to Sony. Them Sony's bitches. Oh, they no, keep... I'm just making All right, a here we go. joke. Well, I know I know you are, but I'm just pointing out like I'm making it it's an even deeper joke. Like they licensed ah. it and it was a it was a bad idea. Yeah, Spider Man too. How'd that go? A gifted young sprinter, Delroy Garrett Jr. won three Olympic gold medals before he was exposed as a steroid user. Stripped of his awards and livelihood, Garrett sought new direction in the triune understanding, a philosophical movement that preaches the fulfillment of one's innate potential by balancing various aspects of environment and self, developing a superhuman, uh, triple-powered physique. So, uh, 3D Man, a, uh, a, a former steroid-using uh, current cult member. 3D Man. Okay, that's, that's Brian. Like, I need you to pick a number uh, between one and twelve. I go with number one because number one's a winning number. Number one. Mm-hmm. All right, that will be the two gun kid. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> so here we go. We will be reading, of course, from Marvel's own official website on the two gun kid. I also encourage everybody to go to Marvel's website and read, uh, these, uh, these, uh, uh, summaries of the characters because they sound like they were written and they read like they were written by 12 year olds. It's pretty amazing. As a young boy, his whole family was killed and he got away. Every sense I'm, I'm reading this directly. I'm, I'm no way. Anything. Every sense. Every sense that day, he told himself that he would find wait, wait, people sense to kill his family. Too. Every sense that day, he told himself. He went down. He went from foster home to foster home until he was finally adopted at age of 15. When he was with them, he learned that his adopted father had a gun collection. His adopted father loved the Desert Eagle the most he loved that box. The most he loved to box. That's what he does. His adopted father used to show him how to use both fists and guns. When he was 17, his dad let him get his first gun, and he thought, taught self how to use oh best God. of his ability. Then, at the age of 21, he got licensed for a gun. <laughs> when his story really begins, he has lots of guns. By the time he's 22, he learned all kinds of tricks. So you have a gun owner. Pretty much, uh, he owns a couple guns. Collects guns. I would, like, I would like to point out how much of this you're leaving out. There is, it is, there's not one paragraph. It is a wall of misspelled, poorly written, black on white text. There we go. All right. So uh, wow. now I will go to some of the random challenges here. So it's going to be a two-gun kid. After versus... he was out of the hospital, H-O-S-P-I-T-L-E, trained himself to fight better and learned yeah. more about vampires. <laughs> <laughs> he went to find him out that Blade had already got the job. Two L's had already done. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so... – so here we go. Here is your, the challenge between the two-gun kid and 3D man. The police find mysterious blood stains everywhere, and the only person at the scene of the crime is OMG Chad. <laughs> okay. And so uh, both, I assume both 3D man and the two-gun kid show up at the same time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Casey, you are going to be arguing for how 3D man would solve the problem. Uh, remember, OMG Chad is the only person who is involved in the in the 
the scene of the crime. And Brian, you're the two gun kid. How do you solve the uh, the mis- the blood stains everywhere? No body, by the way. Uh, listen, ever since I was adopted, I went to the hospital and I learned how to to do tricks with guns. You want to see a trick with the gun? Hold on, watch this. Uh, wait, hold on. Boom! Two gun kid. Yeah. Take away 3D. Let's see your trick. Uh, I don't know, guys. Two gun. That seems kind of cool, I guess. But why is there blood stains all over the place? Hold on. Wait, I got another one. Wait, watch this. I learned this one. I learned this one. I I met the I met Captain America once, and he said if you hold it by his side, you kind of yeah, two gun kid. You know, I I don't I don't know, Two Gun Kid, but it kind of seems like that's really dangerous for you to do with the guns. I don't know, and you're also not solving the crime. <laughs> Hold on, I met Spider Man once. <laughs> well, I'm a Sony property, and I know Spider Man personally, and I'm 3D. You listen to me, I am 3D, and you know what? I can make a 3D rendering of this entire crime scene, and we can determine what goes on then. Wow. You know, uh, 3D man, it kind of seems like you're really grossly misunderstanding your powers because you're really just super strong and it has nothing to do with three dimensions. I don't know. Also, either of you solved the problem. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Because I'm good with my fists and my guns. (laughs) How you I like can that? take my 3D and disarm you. <laughs> Two gun kid. Uh, in all seriousness. All right, well, I'll I tell you what. Right. In all seriousness. Uh, in all seriousness. It, uh, I, I, let all me right. just say, like, I don't see Two Gun Kid doing anything to actually solve this crime. I literally just see him doing nothing but trying to show people his tricks. Maybe he stumbles across a clue. Maybe he accidentally well, shoots OMG Chad. What, uh, uh, he actually does, because what happens is Two Gun Kid accidentally pulls the trigger on one of his guns as he's juggling them really <laughs> irresponsibly, and it goes through a uh, a closet where he finds a bunch of red towels, and you realize that there was no murder. Chad was just washing the dye out of his hair. Uh, I, I, you, uh, Two Gun Kid advances in the tournament. 3D Man uh, has yet to realize that exactly what... 3D man really is, and it has nothing to do with funny glasses in the theater. 3D boobs. (laughs) Hold on. If 3D man got a sex change, does he advance? (laughs) I mean, that would just you wait for my not a D, right? He he would have one less D if he got a sex change. No, but yeah, he's got triple D breasts though with his sex change. So that's what the 3D stand for now. I'm sorry. Take a seat, 3D man. Uh, Brian, I need you to pick a number between 1 and 12, but not 1 or 6. 12. Wait. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Brian, you have selected Living Lightning. (laughs) Yes. Living Lightning. Got it. Tell me about Living Lightning. What's he like? Uh, well, here, Casey. Uh, let, let's while well, this loads. Uh, give me uh, one through twelve, but not nine, three. one or six. Three. Still three. You have selected Moon Dragon. Oh, Moon Dragon sounds awesome. Is it a real dragon? <laughs> <laughs> he lives in the moon. <laughs> but first, let's find out about Brian's pick, Living Lightning. What, what do we know about him? Uh, his name is Miguel Santos. Okay. Lightning struck twice in the Santos family. A Mexican-born American citizen, Carlos Santos, was a misguided patriot who joined the Legion of the Living Lightning, a high-tech militia group seeking to overthrow the U.S. government, ostensibly for the good of the American people. When the Legion tried to manipulate the monstrous Hulk, he wrecked their hidden base in the Santa Ana Mountains, and most of them died, including, uh, including Santos. Years later, Carlos' eldest son, Miguel, resolved to redeem the memory of the Legion and his father, locating the Legion's firmer base. 
Miguel tried to salvage their equipment and accidentally electrocuted himself, <laughs> somehow transformed into a living electrical energy by the lightnings, the Legion's lightning machine. No, wait, wait, Miguel hold. declared himself the living lightning and went on a power crazed rampage until he was destroyed by the Avengers. And then, like happens in all comics, he eventually joined them. So wait, so he he didn't actually get struck by lightning. He just is a, a Mexican electrician who screwed up and juiced himself. He's the son of a domestic terrorist who uh, accidentally electrocuted himself. These are really... Also, he's Mexican. <laughs> These are awful heroes. All right. Casey, uh, and pick Casey... one. Moondragon. <laughs> yeah. Let's find out about Moondragon. Uh, an Earth girl adopted by the Eternals of Saturn's moon Titan after the rogue Eternal Thanos killed her parents. Heather was raised by Titan's Shaolan monks whose tutelage awakened her latent psionic powers while helping her achieve physical and intellectual perfection. Unfortunately, she grew arrogant, a trait reflected by her adoption of the new moon dragon as she seemingly destroyed by the cosmic demon dragon of the moon. The dragon secretly survived inside of her, bolstering and feeding upon the darker aspects of her personality. So there you go. Wait. You are a... Uh... So she is she the chick or the dragon? I have a dragon uh, inside of me, you idiot. Really, Brian? I mean, that's, that's what we... Uh, that's what all of us guys are asking, aren't we? That's a... <laughs> Obviously, you are a lesser being with less intelligence than I. Okay, all right. Well, hold on. Wait, wait a minute, Moon Dragon. Let me give you guys the challenge. It is... Oh, man, it was written really well, and they keep adding them, and I can't find it now. Oh, no, they had it written in there? Yeah, it is a... Here we go. A certain... A podcaster has problems every Tuesday with his internet connection due to the no. dastardly villain Time E. Warner. <laughs> How can this villain be stopped and consistent internet access returned to said podcaster? You both arrive simultaneously at the podcaster's house and offer your solutions. We will start with the lovely yet dangerous Moon Dragon. I have superior intelligence. <laughs> And therefore, I will use this intelligence to fix your horrible Time Warner cable connection, even when they don't do a thing and the evil villain just ruins you. I, okay. with my superior perfection, shall solve your okay. problems. Okay, I, I, I get your game, Moon Dragon. What you like to do is talk a big game, and then eventually, after the problem's not solved, you're just like, oh, you still on that? <laughs> Problem left unsolved for a moon dragon. Oh my god, let's go over to the next hero that I'm going to talk to. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Living Lightning LL Shimmerbadurbadur. Go ahead, Living Lightning. Did you try <laughs> plugging it in? You try it, you unplug it, plug it back in? I used to, uh, I, I'm more um, electricity. Does the internet know? I should lightning. <laughs> uh, listen, the one thing that I don't want you to do is just put me in the list and effort my ticket along to the central office and then mm -hmm. send somebody out who's going to mm -hmm. tell me that everything's fine. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, but you, uh, uh, you... You 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 un uh, with the plug is out and then is back in. Yes, I unplugged it and plugged it back in. <clears throat> Follow me on Google Plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. It's uh, uh, Brian Brushwood, and um, you, yes, you plug. Uh, that's the name of this unnamed podcast. <laughs> you. You you say you plug it in and unplug. I uh... yes, I plugged it in right after I went on a forty-seven mile bike ride that I tweeted <laughs> every mile of. I, uh, I I I am more electricity. I shoot lightning. Uh, is you 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 call uh you call back. You call back, huh? All right. Well, there we go. Uh, I think there's no way to go, but. 
Moon Dragon, congratulations yes! to you. You have solved the second challenge for the awful movie, or awful Marvel Avengers <laughs> Tourney. Oh, this is uh, so. Uh, does that mean it's time for the final, final, final face-off? It is. It is. So Lightning is eliminated Duh, in 3D. It's too bad. Do you have search Moon protector? Advances, if the so lightning, now, sometimes lightning hits is, and your hard drive you will, you won't boot. <laughs> Just search protector. Now it is two gun versus moon and your final <laughs> oh challenge. God. The one challenge. <laughs> All right, on. here we go. All right, what is the uh, final you know what? I'll let you guys choose. Uh, one through 28. Take a choice. We'll, Holy we'll cow. randomize That's this. That's a one. lot. I, I'll tell you what. I'll pick the first digit. You pick the second one. I pick two. Here we go. Two for the first digit. All right? Two. Thirteen. One through eight, Casey. What? I picked the first digit. Uh, zero Two. through eight. Yeah. One. <laughs> Twenty-one. Ah. Right. <laughs> well played, my lady. <laughs> Two gun versus moon dragon. The scenario is thus. As written by Chat Realm. <laughs> oh, my God. The Libertarian <laughs> Party has elected their first president of the United States of America. Can I just stay for the record that Chat Heroes? Chat Realm is so many assholes. I love you guys. Go ahead. Can our heroes stop hell from freezing over? <laughs> I uh I, I gotta tell I'm just gonna concede defeat right now because two gun, two gun kid, come on. Two gun kid. I mean what, what do you gotta say? Hell's freezing over. Two gun kid, two gun kid, hell's freezing over. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot hell. And I'm gonna see if I can slow it down. It's hot in the parts where I'm shooting, but the, my bullets is too small. Maybe if I show it a trick. Nope. <laughs> That's all two gun kid has. He's got nothing. I like how two gun kid self defeating. Two gun kid's like, I don't really have commitment in this two gun. Thing. You got you got the smartest moon dragon lady of the world over here, and I'm this, I, I'm a fraud. I'm a sham. I know three tricks, and I was on Carson once. I mean, how on earth do you expect me to stop help from freezing over? Uh, and that's daily, not Johnny. Uh, moon dragon, what are you gonna do? Hell's freezing over. Meanwhile, President Gary Johnson keeps calling you and says, <laughs> "Can you believe I won?" I will eat a very hot Mexican dinner and with the dragon fire inside of me and the salsa, I will puke the fire and prevent hell from freezing over even though hell doesn't exist because I'm an atheist. But it doesn't matter because it's the story. Do you need, uh, do you need Mexican food, you say? Is, uh... <laughs> I got the. Uh, it's, it's, I put my lightning in it. It makes it very extra um, hot, um, spicy. Nom, nom, nom. That's it. Yes. Moon Dragon ate the Mexican living lightning, puked it all over hell, and the and, and, and world is saved. Two Gun, meanwhile, goes back to his day job at Walmart. And there we go. He Folks, sits there. He's a greeter. Uh, we have found that the best, the winner of the awful <laughs> Marvel Avengers tourney is, in fact, Moon Dragon. A round of applause. Now, Moon Casey Dragon McKinnon, sounds like she's seeing her to ultimate victory. Now, hold on. If we get, uh, uh, give me yes, just a moment here. Me. Moon Dragon sounds pretty, pretty rad. How did she make it into the awful Avengers bracket? Well, let's. I don't know. Let's let's read a little further. What happened? Moon Dragon had been a former mentor to Hellcat, a benefactor to Jack of Hearts, and a would-be lover to Quasar, who didn't share her feelings. Though her machinations have estranged her to all of them to some extent, for a time, Heather wielded the cosmic mind gem as a member of Adam Warlock's Infinity Watch, whose member included Drax, Heather's late father, reborn in superhuman form. However, the watch soon broke up, relinquishing their Infinity Gems. Man, sounds also, like... Also, she farts a lot. She's got some hot problems, that Moon Dragon. <laughs> Why is Moon Dragon slutting it up for everybody? Oh yeah! She just perpetually pukes the body of, of living lightning all the time. Every That's time what we like to call out. the Vancouver goodbye. <laughs> 
I'll tell you what, man. It's a it's a harder bit to passionately argue about a character that you've just learned about and you inherently hate instantly. Like when you get well, I mean, maybe that's why Moondragon won because she was awesome and powerful and super smart, and then you're able to defend that. I can't defend Two Gun. I could defend Living Lightning. I was surprised too. I thought I thought like I, I read Two Gun Kid today when I was looking through all the all the heroes, and I'm like, I hope Brian gets this. I think Brian will 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 have a. A little mind meld with Two Gun Kid. I felt I, like you would you would maybe see a little bit of yourself in Two Gun. Kid. I, I did. Well, I see I see him right now. There he is. That's Two Gun Kid. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting there. He shows up and he whips out his guns and punches someone and talks about how he met Captain America once. You know, ironically, there's a video of my dad in his speedo posing on a car like that. Tell me <laughs> this exists on the internet and I can show it, it right now. It doesn't exist on the internet. But it was this great honeymoon video of my parents and like my mom was like looking at all the cars and my dad, we were watching it and my dad's on the couch going, oh, I wonder if you'll get to see my old Mustang. And then you see my dad leaning up against the car in his Speedo. Yes. <laughs> it like, was a beautiful, how, beautiful thing. Do, you, do your parents understand what you do? Like, do they understand this oh, yeah. whole like you, you speak passionately about stuff on the internet thing? They get that? Yeah. My mom watches the whole thing. Really? Where where yeah. where are you where's your your family from in Canada? They live in Cornwall. Well, where is that? Where is the It's Cornwall? in Ontario. It's, by, it's right next to Cornhole. <laughs> oh, it's all right, near- bride jeez. <laughs> uh so yeah, I, I, I was talking to Justin about this last night, Casey McKinnon. You and I were kindred spirits, but now I am a fallen angel and uh oh, I have to turn bitter. And hateful, and I have to. Oh, are we going here? Derive yes. evil powers to uh, to to strike back at at the heavens above, because okay. you are still among the cho- chosen selected people who should be recommended on Google Plus. Uh, but I have been cast out from these hey, golden but heavens. But you know what? You have more followers than Will Wheaton. Not for long. I bet that's changed. No, you now. do. No, let me see. Do yeah, you, you do. Circle. See, here's, Trust me, I checked today. <laughs> I know you check. I, I used to be like you, checking my checking my place in the Google hierarchy, and then, and then I took an arrow to the recommendation slot. <laughs> exactly. See, look at this. I used to be. This used to be my neighborhood. I used to hang out above William Shatner, uh, and above Adrian Grenier. But now, look at me. How the mighty have fallen. Look at this. Aww. You can see the exact day. Wait, wait for it. Oh, you're behind the Mashable guy. What a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's all – it's not lo- – there we go. You can see the go. exact day uh, when it loads. There we go. You can Aww. see now every time I post, I lose followers no matter what. It used to be I'd gain them, but now I am – I, I want to, I wanna, like, get tattoos and wear leather and be dour and angry and just punch – People, I want to start like flaming you everyone. Don't, you don't just want to go out to Palo Alto or whatever and just hold up like the Say Anything boombox and beg them to make you a follower it's again. It's not bad. It's not bad. You see, I, I'm in that I'm in that delicate phase where I'm just like, shut up, man. I don't, I don't want no Google. Pl- I don't want to be recommended anyway. Google Google Plus is dumb. But I re- I reshare your what. stuff. Doesn't that count for anything? I mean, don't you still love me? Guess. Can't we still be kindred spirits because I reshare your stuff? I don't think so, bro. I'm about to start wearing makeup <laughs> uh, and hating. Whatever, it's over. Listen, it's all going to be cool. See, Casey's going to be nice to you now, and then all of a sudden her and, and you know the Mashable guy and Billy Billy Shatner are going to get on the cool kids prom bus, and she'll be like, no, but, but we'll, we'll hook up after, right? You have my number. <laughs> I think my phone's about to die, though, so if it doesn't <laughs> break, I'm like, don't worry about it. So uh, uh, we actually have a photo of the entire gang. We got uh, Living Lightning, Two Gun Kid, and not pictured is uh, Moon Dragon, but the gang's all together. <laughs> there's Living Lightning, there's Two Gun Kid, and there's two besties, I guess, on each side. And then just two random dudes. <laughs> <laughs> two random dudes. Two two Avengers. Now, are are they actual Avengers or they were just in the Avengers? No, they uh they were at one point uh card carrying members of the Avengers. Wow. That was at least what I asked for. I don't know whether that's actually true. No, but you, I asked for a list with those specifications, and that's what we got. You could. Uh, so you heard Justin correctly. He says, "I solemnly swear that they're all card-carrying Avengers." And if I'm wrong, you just correct me to my face on all social media. Is that is that what I heard? 
You still on that, bro? <laughs> still on that? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think we were recording the show when I was when I was calling you out for 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 that tactic. What were you calling me out for? I was calling you out for the fact that you love to mock me and talk a lot of bluster. I love to mock mood a boss. <laughs> mock mood a boss. I think he's the prime minister of the Palestinian Authority. <laughs> I was trying to see that. Um, yeah, I love to mock you. How do I mock you? I, I, well, uh, you know what? <laughs> Sorry, you're like, you're like, name one time I've ever mocked you. And I start to talk. You're like, beep, 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 beep. Her, everybody, it's me, Fat Rick. I hate Brian Brushwood. He's dumb and stupid. <laughs> Everybody, it's me, Pat. Follow. I want to know how Brian gets mocked here on the NSFW show. I've been doing nothing but eating the double deckers that they left outside the KFC. I ate 14 of them, and then I called Newt Gingrich and said, You want to come over and eat some old double deckers? That is creepy, man. <laughs> That was creepy. That's uh, that's Fat Rick Santorum. Uh, oh. Somebody pointed out that Justin looks uh, bears more than a passing resemblance to uh, to the senator, former senator. I think it was also when I had a bit shorter hair, but yeah. So, Fat Rick, everybody, how you doing? Hold on, Fat Rick's got to make sure that he adjusts his mic, but you can still see his roles. Look at the look at the polite <laughs> the polite patience with which Casey's putting up with that. Awesome. Uh, does that terrify you? Is the idea of an overweight Rick Santorum? Uh, it's not that. It's just that it sounds funny? like a real person, and it doesn't sound like you. <laughs> yeah, and Bonnie. It creeps me out. Wait, like a real person that you know, or that no, he could just. It, it just, just, it just sounds like a real person, like a real horrible person. Bo- Bonnie is that way with um, uh, with South Park. Like she can. Impressions. Not. They sound like the real people. Right. What? No, that's the way Bonnie yeah. is. Like she can't handle. She hears squeaky little voices annoying children all day long, every day. And no matter how brilliant or scathing the satire, she can't handle hearing another squeaky childlike voice uh, by the end of the day. So as, as a result, she never watches South Park. I always have to trick her into watching it. And for some reason, somebody just sent me this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> If, oh, if only man, the Florida Keys weren't state. there before, and then they kind of spurred out afterwards. <laughs> right. <clears throat> uh, all right, look, let's go ahead and wrap things up here. What, what do you got to promote, Miss Casey McKinnon? Uh, at nothing right now. I'm doing everything behind the scenes. <laughs> mm, you can't uh, you give us on? a hint. Well, I've got a Google Plus, and I've got a Twitter, yo. Well, all right, come on. You're so disappointed in me. Why? I'm just Why? disappointed. You, know you mentioned my old girlfriend. Me and Google Plus, we used to be tight, but then she cast me out for being a uh, sinner. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I know. <laughs> Brian, and he'll only have his million-plus followers to keep him warm at night. But they're all, uh, they're all Indonesian, though. That's the thing. We can't even talk the same language. Racist? They, they are all Indonesian. They, yeah. I, that's a problem. Are no. they are they less than? Is that what you're saying? Well, that's what you just said. That's not what I said at all. Uh, I think that's what I mean. I think we all heard it. You I heard understand. in between the lines. I understand. My, mine are a lot uh, from the Middle East and from India. See, she's not yeah, racist, and, and it, but she said kind of that funny, with love. Like, See, when Casey said that, she's like, oh, the Middle East and India. And it was like an up thing. You were like, mine are from Indonesia. <laughs> ew. Ew. <laughs> P.U. You well, know, I'm... like, P.U. Stinky Poo, Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know yeah, what? I'm, I'm the one who mentioned India, too. They, uh, uh, they. Yeah. They, yeah. In a loving way. Okay. Well, you're th- like, oh, I, I always think of my Indian followers when I eat some naan and a tandoor chicken. Mm. And meanwhile, Brian's like, why do they build it? What's the chief export of Indonesia? Smells? No, the best thing about That's Google not- Plus, the most hilarious thing for me is that, like, I can't, re- I can't post intelligent English things at night because nobody will comment. If I post sexy photos of myself at night, I'll get, like, you know, that's how it works. But during the daytime is when I have to, when, when the English speaking population of the world is awake that's when i have to post intellectual sort of things 
I ought to do like entire articles and translate them over to Indonesian. That would be pretty rad. <laughs> you know, they, they, they replayed that Indonesian special I was on recently. That was kind of weird to just get a bunch of Indonesian tweets out of nowhere. So, yeah, no, I agree. So I'll, I'll post my sexy photos at night. Maybe that'll yeah. work. Yeah. Join the club, Schwitty. There we go. <laughs> I guess I'll, see, I'll, I'll, sport, simple. I'll sport <laughs> Schwitties and take photos of them and post them up at night. I'm sure it'll go over very well. Is there a porn site named Schwitty just for you? I'm sure. I'm sure there is. Schwitty. I mean, I'll tell you what. Maybe somebody can make them on some kind of web building <laughs> server. Oh, like, man. If only we had one to recommend. But we don't. <laughs> Not this week. No. Hey, Justin, you ever find yourself in a position where you want to make a high-quality blog portfolio or any other kind of website? Yeah. Well, you're screwed. Go to sleep. You're screwed. Yeah. There's no way. There's What, you're going to learn HTML? You got a problem, friend, and there ain't no solution. Yeah. No. What are you going to do? What, are you a wizard now? You're going to go to wizard school and learn wizard HTML? Oh, look. Hey, why don't you move? Why, why, why don't you roll in mud and move to Indonesia like Brian's always talking? You know what about. CSS stands for? Complicated, stupid stuff. That's what, and you'll that yeah. you'll never learn. Why don't you do a JSON query in your mom's cleavage? <laughs> in your bait and tackle? <laughs> you want to gargle your own tackle? Uh... What do you do? Find a URL? More like you are a loser. Man, you know what else? It's like I find myself all the time. I'm driving on long trips. I'm just so bored. I just wish there was something to keep me entertained on those long trips. But there's not. I'll tell you what. There's not. Yeah. Well, because they eradicated any podcast over an hour and a half. And as far as there was one time that they had a, there was a, a dictator on the internet and he burned all the digital books and said they're not allowed anymore. And so you can't listen to books on the internet. You know what's weird too is I'm I'm making this independent film and I need some really expensive B-roll shots, like establishing shots of Singapore and stuff. I I don't have the money to go out to Singapore to get these establishing shots. Too bad you have to go to Singapore, and in fact you can't if you don't have the money to fly there. You have to just get on a kayak and just start yeah. pedaling. That's and no one's ever made it, Indonesian so you'll probably friends. die at sea. Uh, yeah, no, but actually, it, I'll just I'll just slip a twenty to one of my Indonesian friends. I like that idea. That's a good one. I'll hit him up on my Google yeah, Plus. But yo, yo, you'll slip him a twenty, but you'd be like, "Oh, hold on, I need to get gloves before I hand it over <laughs> because your sticks so bad." Oh, it's not true. You know, I love my Indonesian fans. <laughs> you know what's really tough, though, is like um, I was editing my MX record the other day, and there was so much spam coming in on uh, on Brian at Schwood dot com, and there's, there's nothing, no solution. There's no way. One of these days, the your family is going to find you suffocated <laughs> under a pile of spam, and they'll be like, "How did they die?" And they'll be like, well, they even knew how to edit their MX records, and they, there was nothing they could do. The spam just eventually overtook them. They suffocated and died. It's, did, what, it's such did a Did you moment. guys watch Portlandia? No. I did. You have not yeah. seen Portlandia? I've seen that scene where, they, where, they watch, uh, where they watch Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, okay. Well, you need to watch it. It's on, it's on Netflix. And... Uh, there's this one great episode at the beginning. I think it's the first episode at all uh, of the series, and uh, he's like he's like overloaded on all his gadgets, and he's like be goes into this weird loop. It's hilarious. God, Sounds you like see, you. The question: How am I even going to watch it? Because I don't know of any way to watch movies and television shows on my iPhone, my iPad, my Xbox 360, PS3, Nintendo Wii, my computer, anytime, anywhere, with some simple streaming no. service. And I'm, I just Brian. Well, you want to know? It's such a I hassle. You have. You're hopeless. Yeah. That you can borrow, but you're going to need to come to my house and get it. it just uh, seems and like also, such... I'm moving, and I'm not leaving my forwarding address. Do you realize how much time, money, and hassle that's going to cost me? That's going to be a huge pain. There's no way I could come Too get bad. that. You want to know what? They call them the brakes, mother ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it was a good run. <clears throat> well, there we go. Uh... uh so <laughs> I really hope that what's it that's, called? That's great. That just the NSFW show Frederick brought to you by and Torx. we actually have ads. 
and they just have to put those in, and then they cut this part where we just slam all of our former advertisers. Well, okay, now first of all, we're not slamming them. We're just we're just saying what would I mean, the world be okay, like without no, our not, sponsors? We're not slamming them like you do the nation of Indonesia. Okay, stop like it, we're not stop being it. nice about it's it. It's not true. You're making up words. Oh, this bit stinks like an Indonesian in a pig house. I'm Brian Redwood. <laughs> All right. Can go go blast. That's enough. That's enough, sir. I I can't think of any <laughs> uh anything left to do. I guess we should go ahead and wrap things up then. Um, Casey wants to promote her Google Plus. Justin, what do you got? You want to promote your cross country journey of love and affection? Uh, one more um. One more episode that I'll do from Florida. I don't even know where I'm going to do it because all the stuff is pretty much going to be gone out of here by Friday. But, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, there's a ton of really cool stuff. I really love this week's episode of Weird Things. Uh, and I'll tell you what. I I got to figure out what to do with all this stuff. And remember when we had the 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 video contest last week? Yeah. How many entries did you get? Goose egg. Oh, man, how must you feel? Like, you really poured your heart and soul. You were like, it'll be Creepy Santa. People want it. And not one person wanted Creepy Santa. Not a single uh, person. So, and actually, hold on. Not I even not even a video of somebody stuff. being like, hi, my name is Larry. I'd, I'd like Creepy Santa. Nobody? You want to know what? I actually just realized that I we told people to send it to nsfwshow at gmail.com. And then you didn't check it, and but then you just trashed all it. over him. Oh, you're like, so let's ew, see. all my fans who love to stand the creepy <laughs> Santa. Gross. I would, I, would, I would read your emails, but then I have to smell them. Ew. Maybe uh, they would rather yeah, okay, wait, we got Santa. a couple. And Maybe Santa. yeah, it's like forget creepy Santa, it's stinky I want, Santa. Ooh, stinky Santa is where it's at. <laughs> Omg, stinky Santa sounds like a pretty complicated sex move. <laughs> oh, you never done a secret a stinky Santa before? No, stinky I like Santa. to play stinky Santa around the holiday times with my <laughs> office coworkers. Is that where you give them a? You're like, oh no, I'm your stinky Santa. <laughs> By the way, that comes out with bleach. Oh. Okay. All right, I got to find the movie draft minute so we can wrap things up here. Uh, post it in the chat room, guys, and then I'll go ahead and do it. Apparently, I had it open, but now it's lost in this shocking array of so, horrifying So here's videos. the deal. Um, I am going to uh, just grab a bunch of stuff, and uh, I'm going to give away a bunch of stuff. I'll do a, 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 a South Florida uh, meetup. I think we talked about next Saturday at World of Beer. Uh, I'll have a time... World of Beer in Margate, Florida, or Coconut Creek, I forget what it is. Um, we'll meet on Saturday, and I'll have a bunch of uh, a bunch of memorabilia. Although I do think that there was one chat roamer who was very upset that I was giving away uh, Creepy Santa in a contest form, and I think he is going to be the person that uh, that will that will inherit this this poor old dolt. Oh, uh, the stinky Santa. <laughs> Bye, right, stinky Santa. Oh, All right, here, let's do the movie draft minute, and then we'll wrap Welcome things up. The movie draft minute for the week of May 21st, 2012. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. And we finally have a lane change. Here comes week nine. Sarah Lane remains in last place, still waiting for her. All right, hold on. Did he just say we have a lane change, and then just said Sarah Lane remains in last place? No. Veronica yes. Belmont's in fifth place with $40.5 million. Just Robert Young drops down to fourth place with $82 million. Brian Brushwood jumps into third place with The Dictator bringing in $24.4 million and Battleship bringing $25.3 million, bringing his total to $114.8 million. Scott Johnson drops to second place with $433.4 million. And rocketing into first place with his blue shell known as The Avengers bringing in $55. $5 million dollars this week, bringing his total to $472.3 million. It's Tom Merritt. Man, and that is your Movie Draft Minute for the week of May 21st, 2012. Do you want to take side action on whether or not, like, I mean, at this point, all the smart money has to be on Tom Merritt, right? There's no way anyone's going to take that. Well, I mean, he doesn't have a whole lot else, though, you know? And, like, you need 800. 800's how you win. 
And can he get to 800 with, you know, uh, Avengers and the leftovers? He kind of needs at least a moderate hit out of the rest of the stuff he has. So and I, th- I mean, we'll I th- see. I think Avengers is on track to hit, you know, 550, 600 million. I mean, that's uh, that's going to be most of the way. After that, it's just it's just extra vittles on the side of the road is all I need. That's I don't know. It's crazy. But I mean, like, you know, yeah, but is is that going to be enough? I think he's got a great shot, but we'll see. All right. All right. We'll go and wrap it up for this episode of NSFW. Super big thank yous to one Casey McKinnon. Don't forget to check out uh, Let's Sing. I will boodle deedle do you. Uh, and you and will I make. Will boobity blues you. She will bo- boodily blues you. And, uh, oh. And I'm going to start a whistling duet with her brother. <laughs> yeah. Scam School Book is coming out on June 19th. Expect to hear about it a lot. Because we almost hit number one last time, and I want to make it this time. Because sucked losing to Fifty Shades of Grey. See you next Tuesday. Die in a fire, party people. Oh, I'd rather die in a fire Than to spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood well, like, oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than to do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW I love you NSFW